All right, keeping in mind, it is still flu season during this COVID-19 pandemic, and we've been talking a lot about the public health protocols that we all need to follow. Wearing your mask, keeping your distance, washing your hands. These are all very important, as we know, but keeping yourself healthy and keeping your immune system in fighting form, that's also very important. Let's bring in web writer and reporter Dilshad Berman joining us now with some Q&A from our friend Bryce Wild, who our viewers know very well. Good morning to you, Dee. Good morning, Mel. Yes, like you said, uh, we actually had a live Q&A session with Bryce Wild recently about immunity and keeping your immunity strong. You know, that question has been on a lot of people's minds recently, given everything that's going on. And so we took all of those viewer questions and we put them to Bryce live and we put him on the spot in an Ask Me Anything session. And one of the questions that came up, which I thought would be really relevant to us on breakfast television, as well as the early risers that wake up to watch us, is about sleep and how it relates to to immunity and how a good night's sleep really boosts your immune system. You know, we've heard that magic number, seven to eight hours, everybody needs to get seven to eight hours, but what really happens in that seven to eight hours and why do you need to complete it in order to get the immune benefits from a good night's sleep? Um, here's what Bryce had to say. It starts with sleep architecture. Architecture meaning the stages of which we evolve through our sleep cycles. So we've got four stages before we bounce up into the actually fifth stage, pseudo stage called REM. Stage one, that sort of very light alpha wave kind of meditative. Sometimes we pop out of sleep thinking like we've fallen over. Down to two, three, and four. Four is the deepest phase. That's where we detoxify our brains. That's where we're getting that deep, restful, rejuvenative, reparative, anti-inflammatory sleep. It takes about 60 to 90 minutes on average. We need to move through five of those in order to have a healthy immune system, good energy levels, and a clean sort of sleep, if you will. All right, and if you do the quick math, it takes that seven to eight hours in order to get through those five stages. Oh, seven to eight hours, D. I don't know when the last time was that I got that. I, I know we all need it. I know uh, Dina here <laughs> loves her sleep. T 10, 10, 11. <laughs> She's saying 10, 11, 12, maybe if she could get up there. Um, but you know, there's certain wow. things. I know, right? And that's the energy. That's what you get when you get the sleep, right? Um, but let's talk about how you get that restful sleep because a lot of it has to do with your environment as well, right? Absolutely. You know, Bryce gave me a lot of good tips. Some of them we already know, like your room has to be nice and dark. Don't be on your phone before you go to sleep. If you have to have to read on your phone, make sure it's in that night mode. So it's orange light rather than blue light, which is really interruptive to your sleep cycle. But one of the things that I haven't really paid much attention to is the temperature of your room. Bryce mentioned that it, your te room temperature has to be about 20 degrees or less to really get your body into that nice restful sleep mode. Another Another thing he mentioned is your mattress. For a lot of people, it's like a one and done deal. But he said, if your mattress is over 10 years old, you're due for an upgrade or at least a change up. Um, because again, your body needs to be nice and rested, nice and comfortable uh, in order to really get the proper benefits um, of your sleep. So I've got lots more tips from Bryce. Uh, the whole chat is up on our website right now, citynews.ca. And then coming up on City News at five and six, we're actually gonna be chatting about vitamin D and how important that is to your your immunity. Oh, and we all need some some restful nights. That's for sure. D, as always, thank you so Absolutely. much. Thanks so much. All right, let's get to Dina and Devo, who have very different sleep patterns. <laughs> I very was just talking about that. In the middle is Goldilocks, just right.